new system we built for aquaponics. He's a designer and builder. So, welcome Juan. I hope you have him on. This is very really exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. It's a new product. There are many systems like this out there. It's an extremely easy system to use and it's designed for the residential use. So, you can set this up in the basement, in the garage, on the sun porch, or in a little greenhouse off the side of the house. But, uh, very productive. A system that should pay for itself over time for people who don't know what aquaponics is, I guess. Next question. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics is uh, raising fish and plants together in harmony where the uh, waste product from the fish fertilizes the plants and the plants uh, we use the pollution from the waste product and send the water back to the fish pure. So you don't need any other help in the system. It's uh, pretty much self-sustaining. The only other thing in the system is bacteria, which reduces other types of waste that are put on plants don't do. But between the plants, bacteria, and the fish, we have a self-sufficient system with no input by the fish food. That's all you have to add. So you can make uh, if you have meat and vegetables year round. Year, 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 year round. Uh, with the initial system that we're showing here, we have one fish tank. So you would have to start from scratch every single month. If, if you added another fish tank, then you could just stagger those two tanks. And you'll have the fish continuum. You know, but that's an additional upcharge. How much do you produce on a system that you have designed and built? Okay, production for fish, vegetables. All right, I guess on a six month basis, so if you wanted to start over with uh, a single tank right. and restock, what would it take every six months? Okay, so over the course of a year, we have it worked out that if you ran two sets of fish and these mature every six months, you have 100 pounds of fish approximately 1,000 pounds of vegetables over the course of a year. That means there are 56 holes where you, you fill these up with lettuce, or small herbs, or uh, any tight, bushy plant you can grow right in the water medium. As long as you have a lot of oxygen in there, those roots will stay nice. But you'll be able to harvest 56 heads of lettuce every 60 days. Which will give you five, six crops of lettuce. If you like baby lettuce, you do it in 30 days. That's what's left here, by, by the way. We've been eating this lettuce for 40, 50 days. Because we wanted the tomatoes, tomatoes to ripen so we can show you that. The lettuce is pretty well harvested, so it doesn't look like much. These were nice heads, 40 days rather than 30 days to reduce. Off wall question. String beans or you could do some string beans. You keep the string back, put them in the corners, and grow them up. Just try to put a standard axis for the wall and you can string the vines cling to the fly. Practically any of these grow them, right? The uh, corner would probably be bad. But yeah, corner would be a little tough. Any any large crop, you just want to stay away from squat, cucumber, zucchini, any big vine. This is even a bit much. You have to trim the tomatoes back constantly. And uh, I thought you were down here. Sure. Tomato. Earlier, I was only uh, two plants. That's two plants for all of this. Actually, because this is one plant, and that's what I recommend is one tomato plant. This is the indeterminate type, and it'll continue to grow and grow and grow. So you just trim it back, and it'll keep sending out new shoots into the light. Each one will develop a new cluster of tomatoes or tomatoes, depending on how you do it. When you raise tomatoes, you can only raise tomatoes in a heavily stocked tank. We have 50 tilapia in there all the time. Okay? That's heavily stocked. We feed them two, three, four times a day. There's no limit to how much you feed. You just, you know, we have a bionic filter. I mean, this is a patent pending route filter. This neutralizes any waste that would be over beyond the plant ability to use. Okay. So it makes the system easy for anybody.
anybody that has this cradle and bionic solar will find this system very easy to operate. Okay, and you just keep the fish through time to pay and everything else takes care of itself. Yeah, the, the waste product flows by gravity through each one of these vegetable trays, and uh, the nutrient content in there is very high. Nitrogen, different forms of nitrogen. You have ammonia, nitrites, nitrates. And the plants can utilize each one of those okay, in their form. The bacteria breaks down ammonia. The bacteria is in the biological filter. It's also on the fruits of the plants. But it breaks down ammonia and turns it into nitrites and nitrates in the plants. I'll take those. What do you feed the butter? Oh, what do you feed the calabria? You feed the calabria uh, a little bit of protein fish food. 32, 36 percent. Fish and it could be catfish food. The cheapest there is. Seventeen dollars for fifty pound bag. That'll last a long time. That gives you three or six months. Right. And, it, and the uh, yeah, that won't be close to the six month period because the flat beer are close to converting pound for the pound they take in. Yeah. Because uh, here's another thing you might mention: the duckweed is bought. The sum contains duckweed. Now, we, we usually do this like over the duckweed tray, but I've been trying to grow another tomato plant back here. Anyway, the duckweed comes off the waste of the fish also. And uh, you can feed that duckweed to the fish. Okay, enjoy it. They don't. So you're getting food, extra food for the fish. So you probably get close to a one to one conversion. You'll get a pound of fish for a pound of feed, as long as you're supplementing some duckweed. Well, what makes everything grow? Metal halide has a, the top uh, is the same value as the sun rays. It has the blue spectrum, the red spectrum, the white, the orange. This light is a special ball. Uh, quite a bit more than a metal halide ball. A metal halide lamp, a plain metal halide lamp ball, $28 will do the blue itself. So now we're looking at super green, for being green, and it's the same recirculation. Yeah, it's like 100% recirculation, green technology, self-sustaining. People that want to be more independent, this is the way to go. This is a, a, a fun thing. If the family can get involved, the kids love to grow the stuff, the fish are really fun. These are tilapia. We stock the fish with the tank with 50 tilapia at a time. And these little guys were two and a half inches. They were a little bit larger because they were in another tank. I hadn't built the system yet. But uh, they're growing quite, quite rapidly. They're about six inches, some of them, five to six. And they will eat just about as much as you can feed them. But I, we recommend three, four times a day with not an overly big amount of food, a handful. Spray bar gives them lots of oxygen. The more oxygen there is, the better they put on weight. This like is that better for the root system throughout the whole system. Right. There aren't any other aquaponics that I've seen that are using the spray bar or the biological filter in the tank. This gives our homeowners a big advantage because they won't have to worry about the maintenance on the fish. If, uh, if the sump pump quits working, this spray bar system will keep the fish in nice shape until you fix the sump. The sump is not. These plants won't die if that's off for two days, but the fish would die if their pump was off. So the key point is that the fish provide all the nutrients for the plant. The main product is going to be the plant. And twice a year you'll harvest 50 pounds of tilapia. You're not using any chemicals, pesticides, no fertilizers even, just the actual organic fish food.